Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. This is the Everton News Bulletin on Friday the 11th of October and I'm Harry Colley. Today's headline story, Roy Keane slams Jordan Pickford, pundit and former Manchester United footballer Roy Keane on ITV last night, slamming the Everton number one for his performance in England's 2-1 defeat in the Nations League at Wembley to Greece. He didn't hold back with his criticism, saying on ITV that there was a lack of urgency what's he doing do it quicker he said brilliant defending unlucky by Greece but a lovely message for defenders never give it up he chased it he did brilliantly but it's not a good message from Pickford to send that will always be an issue with Pickford he's not going to change now so what do we make of that one well for me the reality is Jordan Pickford didn't cover himself in glory last night but neither did the other 10 players on the pitch I don't think there was one standout performance from an England player last night it was a very drab game it was a very very hard fought win for Greece uh, and it was a very questionable performance from Lee Carsley's England side my bigger problem with this is that I feel that Jordan Pickford is the number one target whenever England have a bad performance if he keeps a clean sheet if he saves a penalty if he helps us progress in a tournament the praise is minimal the criticism far outweighs the praise for me. So did he do a good job last night? No. Has he had a great season? Not really. But has he done great things for England since he was in on the Gareth Southgate? Absolutely. Countless times has he helped England progress in tournaments. Countless times over the last few seasons has he helped kept Everton in games in the Premier League even. So what do we think? Let us know on social media. Our next story today is that according to Italian news source Il Mescario, Beto is linked with a move to Roma in January. This is to do with the link with the Friedkin Group, that potential joint ownership should they become the owners of Everton. And uh, the outlet in Italy believes that Beto could be on the move to AS Roma. What do we make of this one? Well, my personal take on this one is it's very clear that Beto is not in Sean Dyche's plans at Everton Football Club. Very much so that Chimiti, Broya, they're going to both be ahead when fit of the international striker who is currently sitting on Everton's bench behind Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Could he go to Roma though? With the link with the freaking group, yes, possible. But it depends on that takeover going through, first and foremost. It depends on who the Everton manager is come January, if it's still Sean Dyche, if the Friedkin group do take over and bring someone else in. And it also depends on Roma's situation in Serie A. Are they going to bring in Beto, who hasn't really had a chance to cut it in the Premier League yet? I know fans are divided on Beto. Where do you stand on that one? Can you see him going to Roma? I can see him moving in January, but to Roma remains to be seen. Next story, Red Star Belgrade winger Silias might leave the club this winter. An outlet in Belgrade has said that the winger on loan from Stuttgart could leave the club due to a 10 million euro release clause. Everton reported one of several clubs interested. So more transfer talk. I think any transfer story at this time of the season should be taken with more than a pinch of salt. I don't understand. There's going to be no concrete links made in October for a January transfer window. I'll hold my hands up and say, I've never seen this lad play. I don't know if he's any good or not. Uh, it sounds to me like not really. If he's not making it for Stuttgart, where the chance for younger players in the Bundesliga, as we know, is pretty much there above the Premier League when it comes to bleeding young players into the side. So should we be spending 10 million? Again, it's going to come down to ownership, isn't it? And management. Who are the owners? How much money do we have to spend? Who are the recruiters at that time? Will it still be Kevin Thelwell? Who's the manager? What kind of system are we going to play? For me right now, with the current state of play, and I think this is the case for many Evertonians, we're not going to spend money on another winger. We're actually pretty well stocked in that area with McNeil, with Harrison, uh, with Lindstrom, of course, with Njai, who's playing out on the wing from time to time in games. We have options there. So are we going to spend money on another winger? I don't think so. If we are, crazy. We've got other problems that we need to sort out first. 
And our final news story for today is that Everton skipper Seamus Coleman celebrates his 36th birthday. The club captain, who, as we all know, cost us just 60 grand from Sligo Rovers, is now currently celebrating his 16th season at the club. Very happy birthday to our skipper, Seamus Coleman. That's all for today. Do like, subscribe and follow the Toffee Blues on X and YouTube. I've been Harry Colley. Bye for now.